Oh. We didn't need to do any of that, did we? We could have just... Use the stairs. Ah, uh, not just me that gets stuck on stupid stuff. Only Hello? Only those who have suffered long can find the light within the shadows. Okay, well, I think we've covered this corner. But there's a great deal more wall that way. I think we should go there next. Hi all, and we're back. Out of this place, the better. Yes, we are. And if you remember, we were going to head along this way to see if we couldn't find more pages before we leave. I'm assuming that's what happens after we release her mother. Um, where am I? Oh, there we are. Okay. Now then. There is a someone over there, a soul or something similar to that. Not exactly sure what. Who have we got here? Hello? So this is what it's like on the other side. Guessing so. Well, for you. Um, it depends which afterlife you believe in. Okay, that is the way over. And what else have we got here? We have... Small ruin, have we been? Take that, why not? Um, yeah. So. We've been to this one. This is the thing with this place. Everything's so very... So, oh, something's having a go. Oh, it's one of the things. Is there something up here? We've been here, we've been here. Let's... GTFO. Okay, we've done this. We've done this area. What? Really? I can't... Why am I... I'm going sideways. What? Oh my god. Okay, invisible wall for the win. And get attacked by that thing. Wait a minute. How did we get in here then? Has that moved? That must have moved. No, we came from... Didn't we? What? This really isn't making much sense now. I thought we came along from there. Has this curtain of a barrier, has this moved? I am really, really confused. Okay, yes, we've been here, but we didn't get here this way. Okay, this, this is more than a little strange. Say, oh no, 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 we did, we did come here this... I thought, for whatever reason, we were still kind of... here, along this wall. That was... kind of freaky. Okay, and that leads back over there. Where was the guy... 
The guy with the, the shop, the one we're getting all the soul husks for, where was he? Was he somewhere? I think he was. Okay. I would say we've pretty much explored all of this now. Or at least, yeah. Pretty much explored all of it. Definitely feels that way. Okay, so that's that side. Where have we not been over here? We've been to there, I think. Okay, bear with me. I seem to be getting screen tearing for some obscure reason. Okay, that seems to have fixed it. That was more than a little odd. This was the guy here, wasn't it? we check up here while we were about it? Possibly not. That'll leave me up there. Ooh! Black, black goo. Black goo alert. It puts me up here, but there... Other than a vantage point, there isn't an awful lot to see. Not really. really good way down. Um, no, not there. Where's... Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, what has this guy got? We haven't checked. Brought some soul husks. Well, I've been so busy, I don't know. Curious now, what do you have? A sword. Battle ass, light armor. I don't know what. Okay, let, let's let's look at the light well, armor. Go, Braces of minor smithing added. Anyway. Okay, let's check those out. Kind of crap, actually. So never mind. Right. Okay. Let's. Um, Let's be getting on with it, I think. Uh, what else do we have? Done up there. Yeah, because what I, what I want to do is find the... Um, oh, what was it called? It was some kind of fragment. We needed an additional one. No idea where. Okay, I think we can leave the soul husks alone now. It would appear the stuff he sells is not very good. I've got a ring that's better than that. It's just a ring. Okay, following a perimeter. Soul husks. Not really worth it anymore. What, what? I can't remember what it is that you could make potions with them from. Or what? What? That? You said that backwards. What potions you could make from them. Yeah, this area. Okay, I think we're I think we've probably spent enough time in here, but I did want to find the other pages. And I definitely wanted to find what was in this room. I think this was the place, wasn't it? No, this this is where one of the keepers was. I wish I could remember where the other one fell. Yes, I do. But I can't remember where the marker was. Which is... very odd, really. Was this the place? It was something around here, I think. Or maybe... Maybe it was nearer to where Valerica is. That that would actually make sense. So, yeah, there's that. Hmm. What, if anything, in this set of ruins? What was here? Yeah, we had a fight here. There was a thing up there. Did we check? But, 
take the black soul gem and then I'm going to drop it with all the others. We don't want them. They trap sentient souls, as far as I can tell. So they're a definite don't pick those up kind of item. Have we checked over here? Where on earth was that last keeper? The guy that fell off that we never looted. Ah, oh, I wish I could remember. I bet. I mean, I'm working on the assumption of course, that he dropped the fragment we're looking for. We are still missing a bunch of pages. And I've lost Serana. For someone that generally wants to be cozying up all the time, she does disappear quite a bit. I, tell, I try not to worry about companions doing that. Empty and no notes it's places like that that we've tended to find the pages previously but that doesn't mean we are guaranteed to do that does it mean for the last time we came here we were attacked can we oh yeah covered in something nasty oh oh I think this was the place Ghostly remains. Black shiny. Oh, leave that. Yes, I think it was. This is it. This is where we had the fight. Where did he fall off? Where was he standing when he fell off? Was it? Was it this place? I think it was this place. I think we were fighting about here. We went all the way up, didn't we? Think. Oh, is, no, is that another? We go up another level now. We no, we come back down. We come back down. So if he fell off, where did he fall? It would be somewhere in this vicinity. He couldn't have fallen that far away from here. He could be in amongst one of those, which is very hard to see, given they don't leave a lot of loot or much in the way of remains, just a pile of goo. So, come on, just, no. Perhaps we will never find it. <sighs> okay. Was this, the, it was the last one we fought, which makes me think it was here because we did the one nearest the the main area last because it it made sense to do that as a, you know like a, a circular kind of route if that makes sense so you haven't sort of been zigzagging across the map which is generally what we normally be doing so quick Reconnoiter in here. Who's there? Um, a race man, apparently. Who's having a hard time at being. having a bit of a problem with ground level. Oh god. Clipping much? Is there going to be anything to loot? No, he's disappeared into the ground, hasn't he? Does that mean we've not been hit? Ooh, ooh. Life and service, got that. Grass pod, was this poison? Daedra heart, was it? Yeah. Okay. Back up. The barrier should be gone now. Let's head back. Yeah, we're nearly there, if you hadn't noticed. We just have, you know, a couple of other things to address possibly no that's too high to jump on thus far all the I suppose transports have been something you could quite easily jump onto that isn't one of them 
Well, okay, okay. Right, maybe, maybe it's it's just not happening for us. I can't think of. I really wanted to get that guy's letters for him, though. How are we doing on those pages, anyway? We've got one, three. I'm missing four and two. Four, two, and nine. Three more pages somewhere in this godforsaken place. That's annoying. Now, if where was he anyway? Is that going to be marked on the map in any way? No, it, it's not wanting to... Current location... And then Soul Cairn. Are we not... We're in the Soul Cairn. Are we? Pretty bloody sure we are. Okay. I don't think I've been up here, however. I miss the warm sunshine. Possibly I have. But then again, you see, a lot of them basically say exactly the same thing all the time. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Page four. Two left to get. Let's trek around here as slowly as possible. Is this place kind of symmetrical? Is there another one of these at the opposite end? Hello? Must stay away from the keepers. Yeah, Must they're not a good... From the keepers. Yeah, they were not very friendly. Okay. I didn't think... Ah, you see, I, that, my theory that the lower numbered pages would be in the first section was completely wrong. But never mind. We found another one. Two left to find. Which sounds pretty good to me. Let's check all along this wall. That's got to be a plan. Isn't this where her mother was? Yeah, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. I want to check over here first. Pages and those gems, whatever they actually were. Okay. We've got an inn. And a very not... That chest and a symbol. It looks like a dragon wall. Come on, whatever it is, jump out. H2, yes! Ruby. Yes. Ooh, thank you. Steel gauntlets of wielding glass dagger of lethargy. Lethargy. Not sure. Okay. Got a very ominous looking face or something up there. It'll probably turn out to be not a face at all. Oh, this has filled me with hope. Hope of finding all the pages. Now that would be something. Okay, this just appears to be a weird kind of dead end. Well, well this wasn't, is what it appears to be, I think. And then more wall on this side that doesn't do much. Okay, well fair enough. Was there anywhere else inside this little spot to check out? So the, the remaining books now, we've got one, two, three, 
Um, yeah, sort by name. For whatever reason, it's putting 10 there. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need page 9. Did we not have page 9? I thought we'd found page 9. I thought page 9 was one of the first ones we actually found. Guessing I was wrong. I really thought we'd found page 9. Okay, that's bugging me now. One more page. One more page. That has to be somewhere around here, surely. Uh, so, oh, I'm guessing they grow back. I'm sure we came this way. He said, probably completely wrong. I'll take it. What the hell? I'm not going out of my way for them anymore, though. Here we came, I think. Did we? Probably. Probably. Alright, let's make our way and see if there is a way into this one. I can't remember if we've been here or not, unfortunately. It doesn't look like there's a way in, actually. Ooh, well, that's intriguing. I'm looking, I'm not seeing any doors. There is, however, an underneath of sorts over here, but nothing in here, apparently. How? So is that a little whirlwind sprint to get in there? Okay, we've gone all the way around, and there is definitely not a door. Well, none that I can see. This would work. What? No! Apparently, yes, it does. I've landed inside something. Start where we then entered, up here at the top. Okay, there's one of those. Have I been here before? That feels familiar. Okay, it's draining, it's draining. Chest. No. Anything near the chest? Any notes? Not seeing any. Not seeing any. I think we have been in here before. Possibly. I don't remember down here though. Okay, something died. No, I'm going to go back and edit this video, or watch it at some point. Oh. Yes, it had a proper entrance. Okay, fair enough. Here we came, I think. Oh yeah, you were looking at the skeleton, weren't you? Please, end this misery. I don't know how to, my friend. It's not a case of putting you out of your misery, and there's no... Well, you're already dead, pal. I can't kill you twice. At least, I don't think. Maybe. Okay, you know, definitely been around here before. I do remember that guy. And, yeah, we've picked those up. You were here. I think we've gone a little off track from following the wall around a bit, haven't we? Yeah. What is this part? Okay, that's where she is. We drifted off quite a bit. Yes, we have. Have we been in there? entirely sure. I think so. This feels like a bit of a road here. What is this? 
Ah, this is where we found the soul gem that had me in it, apparently. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I remember the barrier there and there. I'm sure we were very thorough in here. However, when in doubt, double check where you've been. And I'm also slightly concerned that there could be the final page stuck inside the ground. I don't know. You know, because reasons. Okay, let's go up. Ooh, it, it reminds me of Morpheus. What's his face? I hate him. The one from the Dragonborn. Empty chest. Okay. That light makes it very difficult. Page nine. Page nine. Ten of ten. Return to Jim. Okay, we missed that. We somehow missed that. Whoa! Cliff. Okay, we've actually achieved something. How did I not pick that up? Okay, where's... Where, which way is that? The map isn't going to show me. Speak. We're here. That's Valerica. That's Jim. He's... That way. Ish. Okay. We're doing it. We're going. We're going. We're going. Going to find Jib. At least that's the plan. Now, should I read Jib's writings before I go and find him? I think I probably should. That would make some kind of sense, wouldn't it? Ten pages, though. Ah, uh, it's a little bit of reading. Oh, it's... The shadow from that stuff. That's Valerica's mum. Um, that's Valerica Serana's mother. So, he must be down there in those stones, I think. I think we'll get fairly close to him and then take a look at the... Uh, the notes he wrote, I'm curious as hell about that now. Especially seeing as he was a, the first character you meet in Morrowind. Yes, indeed. Okay, you're here somewhere, aren't you? Wasn't he stood in amongst some stones like this? I'm not 100% sure on that, to be perfectly honest. I think this is him up ahead. It's not Valerica, that much I do know. Is that him? That's him. Right, okay, so before we head in, let's have a look. Jube's Opus, page one. I am a hunter. A re I am a redeemer. I am Jub. The tale of my rise to glory begins in the ash wastes of Morrowind. I rode alone, my weapon at my side, and the burning wind stinging my face. My quest was arduous, but necessary to ensure the survival of the Dunmer people. A pestilence was creeping across the Ashlands. A menace with insatiable hunger that plagued innocent travellers simply trying to get home. It was my self-sworn task to hunt them down one by one and drive them from the skies. Their fury knew no bounds and their veracity resonated of oh, their war cry. My God. Their war cry resonated across the land. They were notorious they were the notorious cliff racers and they had to be destroyed. On a particularly hot day during sun's height, I was tracking what I call a lingerer, a cliff racer without a nest. He was particularly feisty one too, leading me on a merry chase across almost three miles of dune ashes. 
I had managed to take out a piece of one of his wings in an earlier scuffle, so he couldn't maintain much of a climb. But he still had quite a bit of stamina left and was trying to make me tire of the chase. Almost two solid hours passed and my slit strider and my slit strider was tiring, but I couldn't give up. I had sworn to eliminate the foul beasts to the last, and I wasn't about to let it go. If I was going to stop the thing, I'd have to do it fast. I pulled my longbow from my back and knocked my last arrow. I took a deep breath and pulled, trying to keep the cliff racer in my sights. It was literally a long shot, with the beast gaining distance and the stilt strider bouncing me around at full gallop. Finally, with a silent prayer, I released the string. The arrow sang through the air like a howling demon as it sliced its way towards its target. Finally, just as it crested the lip of a foyada, the arrow struck in it, struck it in the midsection. It let out a horrible cry and fell out of sight. My cries of triumph quickly stifled by the sound of over a hundred wings rising from the foyada was an entire colony of cliff racers and they were out for blood. The blasted thing had led me right to their nest and sacrificed itself with the intent of feeding me to its brood. It was a trap. The damn things had become much too clever. Knowing this was likely to end, I jumped down from the slit strider and hit the back of its leg with the flat of my glass blade. There was no need for the innocent thing to die here because of my stupidity. As the ash clouds cleared from being stirred up by its massive legs, the cliff race of brood approached. I held my sword high and prepared for the worst. The battle lasted two full days. I was beaten, clawed, bitten and knocked down more times than I care to remember. In the end, 76 cliff racers were slaughtered. I was knee deep in their corpses and my body on the verge of collapse. But I had survived. I smiled to the heavens and all went black. When I awoke, all I felt was my back on a cold stone floor. Every muscle in my body was on fire and my vision was blurred. Slowly, I tried to climb to my feet. It took seven agonizing minutes, but I finally managed to do it. As my eyes adjusted to the dim light of my new surroundings, I realized I was standing before Lord Vivink himself. He was simply staring at me, floating above his throne and staring at me with his piercing eyes. When I began to pop, prostate myself as a sign of respect, he held up one of his hands as if to say it wasn't necessary. Was I dead? Was Lord Vavitch pleased to see me? He was about to strike me down in anger for my some, or was he about to strike me down for, in anger for my somewhat sordid past? Suddenly I understood everything. Suddenly I realized that I was brought here for a reason. I should have died in those ash wastes. But Lord Vivek must have seen something inside me that he hadn't seen in millennia and decided to spare me from my fate. Thus began, began my ascent to sainthood. Thus began the rise of Geob. Well, Geob, I'll give you one thing. You can write a book. Geob. You did it. Indeed, Finally, my friend. I never thought I'd see these again. These pages meant the world to me. Thank you. Okay, so what now? Now, volume two begins. What else? Yeah. I'll be off then. Oh, wait a moment. Here, I, I want you to have these before you go. A pristine copy of my first volume. Only one in print, actually. Okay. And take this as well. Seeing as Saint Jib has ascended to pure spiritual form, I won't need it any longer. 
Well, I'm glad I read them first. Okay, all the pages are being removed, which does make sense. I thought that might happen. Ah, St. Job's Opus added. Locket of St. Job added. Okay, is it caught up with itself? Okay, let's take a look. So, the rise and fall of St. Job, the eradicator hero of Morrowind and the saviour of the Dunmer by Job. Oh, these are all the pages, only now in a proper book, which would have been easier to read. Never mind. I might fix that later. Uh, what was it? Locket of St. Job. Carrying capacity increased by 50 points. Increases your stamina by 50 points. What am I wearing at the moment? Oh, this? This I really like. Yes, I do. For generally exploring and running around, uh, I think we'll be keeping this. Yes, we will. Let's just... Yeah, and uh, I think so. Definitely. That's better than a mask. Right. Um, I seem to have lost Sirana somewhere. Which is a bit of a shame, because I'm about ready, I think, to head to her mother's. And... Uh, she was nagging me about that. Maybe just hang around and see if she shows up. No, no sign of Sirana. Well, the extra 50 points of stamina means we can run along for a little bit as well. I don't run into rocks and things. Well, we are here. Has she turned up here? Hmm. This might be a problem. 